Hey, bookies. Um, whew, y'all, we got it. We got it today. Wait, but hold on. Before we talk about that, if you're new, hey, I'm Daisy, and this is All Things Daisy. Thanks for stopping by and clicking play. I hope you enjoy this video just as much as I enjoy making it. So, bookies, today we got to talk. We got to talk. We got to talk. I've been posting a lot um, lately, you know, two weeks full of content. That's good. I'm glad. I'm proud of myself. Uh, but we got to talk about something uh, that is super, I have to be super transparent about. And uh, just to make sure that I'm being honest, I'm starting off this new year right. Because like I said, new year, more evolving, okay? Um, so today we're going to be talking about my biggest mistake as a startup entrepreneur. So if you don't know what that means, basically a startup means that you're just starting up the business, basically. Like there's no specific, like we're, we're not established yet. So I was sitting back and I was talking to Mike and I was just trying to figure out, you know, what it is we're gonna do, what's our goals, what's our budgets, how we're gonna go about it. And I just, I just had like this weird moment where I just felt like, oh my God, I need to talk to you guys about this. Um, there's a few things that I have tried that did not work out. And I'm just like, why didn't it work out? It was such a great idea. What's going on? And it was like, as if God was just like telling me like, you're not consistent. So I just want to talk about my biggest mistake as sort of entrepreneur and hope that it sheds some light and just lights a fire under y'all little behinds. Okay. So as you can tell, I already kind of told you guys what it was. However, my biggest mistake as an entrepreneur was not being consistent. I was not consistent at all. And I mean at all. I would start off good and I'll just slow down. I'll just stop. I don't know if it was like just imposter syndrome, uh, more of just not fully believing in myself. It was just so many little things and it was just like, I just kept letting it like just bother me and bother me and bother me and bother me. And I just like, as time would go by, I was just slow back, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down until the business is all basically gone. Like the dream is not there anymore. Like I, I want to say that that happens when you're not really passionate about something. However, I feel like it doesn't matter if you're passionate or not, it's, it's going to work if you're consistent. So I I just was not consistent enough. I was not out there enough. I did not market enough. I wasn't confident. I was talking about it. I wasn't pushing it. I was not doing anything for these, like for these ideas once I would get it off the ground, like off the floor. And I just said to myself, not again, not again. So with that being said, I am going to be doing a video on how I've been staying consistent these last few weeks and how I plan on staying consistent and the tools that I use. Uh, so there'll be a part two to this video. However, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, you guys understand that you need to be like consistent. You can't just off the bandwagon and just say, oh, that's it. I'll try something new. Like that is one of my biggest, biggest mistakes is that I was not consistent. Like even with content creation, I started a YouTube channel three years ago. Imagine if I posted two or three times a week, three years ago up until now. We would not be having this conversation right now. <laughs> this will not be happening. Like you have to stay consistent. You have to believe in yourself. You have to keep going even when you don't want to. It does help if you're passionate about it. So if you're not really passionate about the idea, I would really consider it. Like really make sure we think that that one through. However, you have to be consistent in order to see results. And that's just my little tip to you guys. Just make sure you're being consistent. Make sure you don't make the same mistake. Make sure you love what you're doing and just push through. Push through. It's okay to go on a hiatus for a few days push through okay so just a quick video i just wanted to make sure i talk to you guys about you know my biggest mistake and just stay tuned for part two where i talk about how to stay consistent all right make today great guys later